Hello, hello, Chris here with a new video. As you can see, I'm not in Iceland anymore. I'm back in Luxembourg and I'm in the forest. So these last few weeks here in Luxembourg, it has been very rainy. It's been pretty much raining all the time. We haven't seen the sun in weeks and it's gray today too. There is no rain today, but it's still a very overcast sky. And that's why I came to the forest where I want to make some new pictures. Even though the leaves are now all fallen down, there is no more uh, leaves on the trees. There are still some interesting subjects. And since it has rained so much these last few weeks, I thought it would be a good idea to come back to the Müllertal, where I've already made a video in the very beginning when I started this vlog. But back then I didn't have an external audio recorder, I didn't have this little microphone here, so the sound quality was very, very bad. And you heard the water in the microphone and yeah, I had to do some subtitling for that video. Oh, and I also got lost in the woods during that video. So really, don't go watch that video, but if you want to see it, well, the link is up here. So today I'm back at the Schiessen Tümpel, which is that nice little waterfall here in the Müllertal region. And usually there are three little waterfalls right below the bridge. But today, because of all the rain and all the water that's coming down, those three little waterfalls have become one big waterfall. So that's going to be interesting to make a picture like that. And what also happened with all the rain is that one of the rocks right next to the bridge actually came down on the stairs and well everything is completely different and you can't even go down to the river because the way is blocked by the rock so i will make some pictures from the other side because it's not even possible to go on the classic spot on the, there is a rock here right in front of the waterfall where usually most people that come here make a picture but I can't even go there today because the first reason is that the stairs are completely shut by the rock and the second is that there is so much water that you can't cross over to the rock so I will have to make a picture from the other side and we'll see how that turns out so let's go and have a look As expected there is a lot of water in the river right now and you can still make out the three waterfalls but there is so much water it looks really amazing 
And as I said, the rock where most people usually take the picture is really not accessible today. If you have some wet boots, maybe you can cross the water and get there, but the water level is quite high. So I have the boots in the car, but I didn't take them with me. I'm not even gonna try. I'm just making a picture from here. Let me talk you through the composition I chose for my picture here. I'm using those two big rocks in the foreground and they really attract the eye. It would be even better if there would be a person standing right there on the rock, but I'm not going to take the risk and go through the water right now. I'm just going to make the picture like that. And you also have a part of the bridge that goes over the waterfall. So I like the colors. I'm using the polarizer on the camera. I'm not using any ND filter because it's really not necessary. It's so dark right now here in the forest and with the overcast sky there is no light coming from the sun so there is no harsh shadows and you don't really need an ND filter in that case because the exposure I have here is already three seconds long at f8 ISO 100 and that creates this nice fluid movement for the waterfall and I noticed that I'm talking about waterfalls again when there were so many waterfalls in Iceland. I'm here in Luxembourg and I come back to the first waterfall that there is. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I decided to change my composition and to put the camera into portrait mode now because I noticed with all the water that's coming from the river there's actually a second waterfall forming right here below the big rock and with the smaller waterfall with the Schiessen Tümpel in the back and this smaller waterfall here in the foreground it makes for a very nice composition. I am still using the polarizer and the exposure is still f8 at ISO 100 and it's about a 1.5 2 second exposure. Let's see. That looks really good. And by the way, most of the time I don't really like using a shutter remote, a trigger remote, because I just don't like the hassle with the cable and everything. That's why most of the time I'm using the 2 second timer that is in the camera and it just works. So you set the timer, you push the button, you wait two seconds, no more vibrations, and it takes the picture. Perfect. I walked around a bit and I passed through this tree here that fell on the river and it was kind of messy, I think I scratched my jacket a bit, but it's okay because I found a very nice composition here with some rocks in the river and the water flowing down here. You can't really see the big waterfall anymore because there is still this big rock in front of it, but you still know it's the Müllertal, it's the Schiessen Tümpel because the bridge is still framed in my composition and with the rocks here in the foreground actually it creates a nice sense of depth for the whole picture it really attracts the eye of the viewer you can imagine standing here in front of those rocks and seeing the bridge and the waterfall in the background so I think this composition works very well
as I said at the beginning of the video, last time I got lost in the woods. Seriously, don't go watch that video. I got lost because I was looking for another waterfall. And this time around I actually found it. Probably because I came with Fred, a friend of mine who's also into photography. And you're probably going to see a lot more of Fred because we have planned a trip together very soon this year and it's going to be absolutely amazing. So as for the composition for this place, I am making a picture head-on on the waterfall and I'm using all those nice little colors. There is some orange, some green, some blue and these colors really pop when you're using a polarizer. And with those two rocks in the water, the water that is really crystal clear, you can really th see through it, it creates a nice foreground and it makes for a really nice composition. So I hope you enjoyed this short little trip to the Müllertal, this iconic location here in Luxembourg. If you're ever visiting the Grand Duchy, you should definitely come here and have a look at those waterfalls and also walk through the forest because the forest is really amazing here. There are a lot of cliffs. It's really a great place to do landscape photography. So that's it from me for now. And I will see you very soon because I have another trip planned and I will make some more videos over there. See you very soon. Bye bye.